stretch, arms middle. Pull your thighs back every single time you plie and bend your knees. So thighs go back, you're lifting up nice and tall. Crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. Good, drop those knees a little bit deeper. Once more, demi plie, stretch, arms middle, stretch, demi, stretch, arms middle. Try to really keep your feet nice and flat and even on the ground. Belly button is pulling in and your tailbone is down. Great, once more. Then stay low, little pulses here. Bend your knees and keep them really, really tiny. Belly button is pulling in, thighs are rooting back. Support your arms so we get a nice resistance with that. Drop a little bit deeper, little pulses here. Good, keep them really, really tiny. Roll the shoulders back. Great, pulse, pulse, pulse. Now hand to the hip, lift the heels, go up. First position, up and first, up. Good, keep that bend in the knees. Lift, lift, great. Now drop the hips a little bit deeper here, just a little. It could be really, really tiny. Keep feeling that burn as we lift the heels and press them down. Lift and press, don't forget about that torso, so lift up nice and tall. Good, then keep the heels up, pulse here, pulse. Two, three, keep breathing, four, keep pulling the thighs back, back. Breathing here, tailbone down once more. Pulse, pulse, hand to the hip so we keep the spine nice and tall and we keep that nice alignment just like in ballet class. Drop, 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 and lower the heel, second position, demi plie. Stretch, arms middle. Demi, stretch, arms middle. Good, and again, shoulders are rooting down. Thighs are really pulling back so we get this beautiful open position in second position. Belly button is pulling in, long neck here, long spine, everybody. Breathing, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose, drop that plie a little bit deeper, plie. Two, lots of resistance in the arm, so there's energy in the arm. As we move, whole body movements. Two more. Stay low, little pulses here. And if you're like me and you like to grip your toes, I want you to relax your toes, spread them out. Roll the shoulders back, chest is open. Support that arm in second. Breathe here, drop a little bit deeper. Drop, drop. Good breathing here, drop a little bit lower. And feel those muscles start to quiver, hand on hip, lift the heels, and up. Down, and up, that's it, lift up. Really try to rotate the thighs back and the heels forward. And stay up here, little pulses, pulse. Breathing here, tailbone is down. Find that nice long spine, that's it. Pull those thighs back, dancers. Try not to let your ribs stick out. So pull the ribs in and down. Breathe. Four, four, and three. You can do it, tiny pulses. Two, drop a little bit lower. And one, good from here. Turn into that chair. Both hands are on it. Back heel is popped. We're lifting up tall with the spine. Plie, bend that knee, stretch it straight. Plie and stretch. Back heel is popped. Back knee is dropping straight down to the floor, so don't let it pop up or open. Good, bend the knee, drop and drop. Again, plie and up, plie. Good, drop that knee a little bit closer to the ground, that's it. Shoulders down. Good, and feel the whole front of the body lift up tall. So our ribs and our belly are not opening. Pull it in nice and strong. And once more. Good, then stay low here, pulse it up. Keep them really, really tiny. Trust me, you'll still feel it. Tiny pulses, oh yeah. Breathing here. Good, drop a little bit lower, shoulders back. A little bit lower. Good, step those feet together. Left foot back, pop that heel, roll the shoulders back. Plie, 
and stretch, plie, and stretch, plie. Good, so remember, back bottom knee is facing straight down to the floor. Our upper body is pulling up, our shoulders are down. Both knees, when we bend, one will be facing the floor, one will be facing straight out in front of you. So don't let your thigh open, straight. Shoulders and hips are in one line, stack tall. Plie, again. Stay low, little pulses, pulse it down. Down, down, keep it small. Breathing here, again, pulse it down. Good, see if we can pulse with the legs and not with the arms and upper body. Just those little tiny movements. Again, four, and uh, three, almost there. And uh, two, drop a little lower, and uh, one, step your feet together, good. From here, both hands on the chair, releve, lift the heels. We're parallel here, so ankles are together, toes are together, and drop the heels, releve, take it up, and down, again, take it up and down once more lift up tall so it's really important that the spine is lifted and we're breathing here so we're not slouching we're zipping up the inner legs again lift and down keep breathing lift and down once more breathe and down breathe and down four more go four breathe three and the two and then one, pulse it here. We're gonna do little tiny one inch pulses, just lowering the heels. Don't let them touch the floor. They don't touch, they're just bouncing. Good, breathe here and keep squeezing the ankles and inner legs together. And are your shoulders released away from your ears? Is your neck long? Breathe for four and three and two. And one plie here. So this is gonna be like chair pose in yoga. We're gonna bend our knees, sink your tailbone low. You're gonna take your arms either on top of your chair, but barely touching them or sweep your arms up over your head. Good, breathe here, gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Take two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, take one more breath, inhale. And exhale, press all the way up. Good, hands can come to the wall or chair. Plie, sink low. Hands can stay on the chair or come back up overhead. Press it, releve. Plie, low. Press, releve. Take your time. Plie, low. Press, releve. Plie, low. Press, releve. Okay. Plie. Keep hugging that belly button in so we're not arching the back. And press. Plie and press, plie, and releve, take it up, and releve, last one, plie, and releve, stay up with the heels, bend the knees, little tiny pulses here, breathe, who knew a little movement could burn so much, right, so keep that nice alignment, breathe, we won't be here forever, even though it feels like it, pulse, 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 Pulse again, sink low, 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 and low, release. Sweep your right foot back, catch it in your hand. Sink the knees together, lift up tall. Option to take your hand off of that chair or wall or bar, whatever you have. Lift the spine, spread the chest wide. Stretch the quad out, inhale. Exhale, release, sweep the left foot back, catch it in your left hand. Knees and thighs are together, upper body lifts up. Sweep the right arm up overhead. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, breathe. Again, inhale. Exhale, breathe, release. Shake it out, turn back to the front. One hand is on the chair. Whatever leg is opposite of the chair is the leg that's gonna work, so away from the chair. We're gonna tondu, eight to the front, eight to the side. Eight to the back, eight to the side. Every time we tondu, we're gonna squeeze the inner thighs together and pull the toes back. Here we go. Arm middle, six arm high, seven, eight, tondu. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, again, sweep it front, lift up tall, all the toes are on the ground, take it side, sweep it up, squeeze, squeeze, good, really draw that heel in, lift up nice and tall so we're not sinking into that hip, and take it back, sweep it back. Now, make sure it's right behind your hip, folks. So don't let it open, it's straight behind that hip, in line. Lift up tall in the head. Again, take it side. Two, three, four, five, six. Support that arm, lift up tall. Squeeze the inner heels together. Good, then peek A. We take it front. Two, three, four, pull the thigh back and passe. Again, take it front. Two, three, four, pull the thigh back and passe. Open the arm, take it side. Two, three, four, pull the thigh up. Passe, so lift tall. Again, two, three, four, passe. Take it back, straight behind the hip. One, two, lift tall. Thigh back, six, seven, again, take it back. Breathe here, thigh back, six, seven, open the arm, take it side. Two, three, four, passe tall. Good, lift up, side. Two, three, four, passe tall. Good, from here, open the thigh, take your hand to the hip. We're gonna plie, we're gonna cross the knee and bend the bottom leg and then open the thigh. Good, try to get your bottom heel forward, plie and open. We're working that turnout, plie and that hip flexor, plie. Chest and spine are tall, plie and straighten, plie and straighten. Again, plie and straighten, breathe, plie and straighten, release, shake it out and go to the other side. So I can stay facing the mirror, I'm just gonna switch my chair, and you can just do the same. All right, here we go, time to six, seven, eight, breathe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again. Imagine your foot is painting that floor, so we're really engaging the leg, take it side, side. Squeeze the inner legs and heels together, lift up nice and tall, support that arm, breathe. Good, take it back right behind the hip. Two, three, four, five. Reach that arm long, lower the shoulders. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it side. Two, three, four, lift up tall, support that arm. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, PK. Go front, two, three, four, pull the thigh back, lift up tall. Again, two, three, four, thigh back. To the side. Side, don't sink in that hip. Lift up. Good, again. And at the same time we lift up, can the bottom legs press down? Take it back, back. Two, three, four, pull it up. Again, take it back. Two, three, four, pull it up. To the side again. One, two, three, lift up tall, lift. Last time, one, two, three, four, lift up tall. Good, from here, hand to the hip. Thigh draws in, plie. Thigh open, plie. Thigh open, keep on lifting up from the waist. Breathe here, again, plie. And open, plie. And open, plie. Two more. And last one. And release and shake it out. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. All right. Stay where you're at. I'm just gonna move the chair over. We're gonna come back to feet together, parallel. Hand comes to the hip, roll the shoulders back. Lift the heels again, releve. Then plie, squeeze the ankles. And if your thighs are shaking like mine, you're doing a great job. So from here, we're gonna open the thighs like we're doing demi plie and then squeeze them together. Open and squeeze, open and squeeze. Breathe here, good. So the belly button is pulling in, ribs are pulling in, core is engaged, so really hold it in tight. The tailbone is down, there's no arch in the back, we're lifting the spine. Chest is wide from shoulder to shoulder. Again, breathe, breathe. Good, let's take it a little faster. Go out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and squeeze, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, last time. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, and release, shake it out. 
Awesome, very nice. All right, guys, so I want you to grab that water bottle, that lightweight or a heavy book or just something that is small that is, um, you know, that will give you a little extra resistance. If you have a lightweight, great, but you don't need it, all right? All right, so you're gonna put the weight in your right hand and make sure it's something that, you know, if you have a book, I only have my jazz shoe with me, but let's pretend my jazz shoe is a book. Make sure you can hold it in one hand, all right? So one hand, right hand, left hand comes to the wall or chair. You're gonna step your right foot back, plie, like we did earlier. The weight's gonna be right into your shoulder or chest. And you're gonna passe, I know you can't see it, but my arm, I'm gonna get nice and low. My arm is going straight up to the sky. So make sure you're pressing it up, passe. Plie, take it back. Back knee points down, passe. We're in parallel passe, so the knee is lifting up and it's facing forward. Plie, and lift. Plie, and lift. Keep it straight up. So it's challenging our balance here, plie. And up, four more here, four. Breathe, three. Breathe, two. And one now, drop the arm into the chest and passe left into the chest and lift. Breathe here, chest and lift again. Plie, lift, plie. Good breathing here. Keep lifting from underneath the thigh. Engage your core. Shoulders and hips are facing the same direction. Plie and up. Plie, two more. Last one, and bring it in, shake it out. Bring it to the other side, left hand. Other hand to the chair or the wall. Roll the shoulders back, let's find that alignment again. So make sure shoulders and hips are facing the same way. We're not starting to twist or sit in our hip. We wanna lift up tall, nice and even. Step that left foot back. Arm goes straight up, plie. Keep the arm up, passe, plie. Passe, again, plie, and lift. Breathe here, again, plie. Belly button is holding in, plie, and lift. Good, really lift that passe nice and high. And lift, keep it straight up. Breathe here, good. Now drop it down to the shoulder and press it up. Down and up, once more, plie, and up, plie. And up, plie, and up, plie, four more here. We do four, lift tall, three, lift tall, two, higher one, and plie, release, good. Take that weight, water bottle, book, whatever you have in two hands. Elbows are gonna go out to the side, so don't let them droop. Straight out to the side, roll the shoulders back. Spread your chest wide, feet are together, Big toes touch, ankles and heels touch. We're gonna plie again as if we're sitting in chair pose. Belly button is rooting back. We're gonna sweep that bell up overhead. Breathe here. Imagine your chest and head are going through the arms. Good. You stay here, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. I don't want you to arch the back here like I'm doing. I want you to curl the tailbone. Really squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, breathe. For four, three, two, one, then lift straight up. Pulse over to one side, one, two, and up. Opposite side, one, two, and up. Lift up tall, one, two, and up. One, two, keep breathing. Try not to let your shoulders come up to your ears. Press them down, and up. Pulse, and up, again, pulse. And up, once more. Last time, pulse. Straight up from here, bend your elbows. So they're hugging your ears. Ribs again are closing, so don't arch your back. Close and let your tailbone go down. Good, from here, I'm gonna slightly turn to the side so you can see. We're gonna plie. Press your arms straight up. Whoop, I got some of my hair. And bend, take it up and bend. Good, squeeze the elbows into the ears. Don't let them get too wide. Breathe. And again. And five, four. 
sink low, three, two, one, straighten the legs, but bend the elbows, little pulses here. So keep them really small, I'm gonna turn around. So you can see I'm just bouncing an inch or two. But I want you to keep your torso tall, keep your neck tall, keep your elbows hugged in, little pulses, oh yeah, for four, and three, and two, and one, release carefully, so don't bonk anything. Put that weight down for a minute, we're just gonna stretch the arms out, take it across. Good. When we do turn out those legs, second position. Plie, drop. Let your toes relax, don't scrunch them. Good. Breathe here, inhale deeply. Exhale and sweep that arm up and over. Grab it with the opposite hand, sink low. Breathe, inhale. Exhale again. And release. Sweep the opposite arm across, bend the legs, plie. Big deep breath, so inhale deeply. Fill up your ribs, exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, sweep it up and over. Stay in plie, bend those knees. Lift and lengthen the front of your neck. So it usually likes to curl here. Can we lift it tall? Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Good, keep your legs where you are. You have the option to do this without your weight or the option to do it with you. I'm gonna do it without first and then I'm gonna pick it up and grab it. So we're gonna inhale, sweep your right arm up tall, circle it across the body, plie or lunge to that right leg, sweep the arm to the inside of the leg, left arm up high. So we have this side lunge. Now look at my left hip, don't let it pull up it's gonna drop down, so we have this big diagonal line through the leg, out through the head. Press the arm against the inner leg to turn out, inhale. Exhale up. Sweep this left arm across the body. Across, so go out, up and across, and then we're gonna side lunge to the left. Left arm comes to the inner leg. Sweep the right arm up. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee. One more, inhale. Exhale, let's do it one more time without the weight. Yes, so inhale. Let's sweep right arm out, across, lunge, and up, two rests. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale. Exhale, release. Left arm sweeps out, up, across, and to the leg, reach. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, stay here, or option to grab that weight. We're gonna inhale, circle the right arm up, across the body, side lunge, sweep the left arm up. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, come up and switch the weight if you have it. Inhale, circle left arm out, across, side lunge, right arm comes up. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Again, right arm circles out, across, side lunge to the right, and up, inhale here. Exhale, release. Left arm circles out, up, across to the leg, right arm up. Six, seven, and switch. And right, across, side lunge, left arm high, seven, eight, and switch. One, two, three, four, side lunge, five, Six, seven, once more, switch, circle out. And whatever arm you circle with, that's the side you lunge. Six, seven, and switch, left arm out. That's the side we lunge to the left. Six, seven, again, circle out. And lunge. Last one, left arm out. And lunge. And release, good. Stay here. Bring whatever you're holding on to, to the center. Elbows out to the side. Good. Second position with the legs. Plie, bend the legs. Good, little pulses here. Breathe. Can the chest keep lifting? Can the elbows keep engaging? Pulse here. For four, three, two, one, we go. Plie down, middle, up, middle. Plie down, 
to the center, take it up to the center. That's it, take it down. Center, keep breathing, and center once more, take it down. And up, again, plie down, and up, good. So option to stay here, we're gonna keep on plieing to center, reaching up to center. Option when we get to the up, to releve, lift your heels. And it's just tiny, so releve, hold it. Don't wiggle. And if you're familiar in dance with releve, that means your middle toe is gonna be anchored. So ankle right over the middle toe. Releve, lift the heels, plie. Releve, once more, plie. Releve, again, plie. Releve, plie, releve, two more, plie, releve, don't drop your chest when you plie, it's just your legs, and release, yes, shake it out, put your weight to the side, but we're going to use it later, so don't put it completely away, good, all right, we're going to come back to that chair, guys, we're going to fondue, fondue means to melt, so the legs are bending at the same time, Essentially, it looks like it's melting because it's nice and slow. So what we're going to do is one hand to the bar, outside leg is going to come to coupe. I'm going to move back just a touch so you can see me. Okay, outside leg to coupe, so that means you're pointing your foot to your ankle, so you're lifting up tall. Don't sink into the hip. We're going to lift it up. Hand stays to the hips, or you can sweep it out to second every single time. So we're going to plie both legs, and then carry it front and straighten it. Plie, pull your thigh back so we get this big diamond, and then carry it front and straighten. Plie, and straighten. Now, the hard part here is to straighten the legs at the same time and bend the legs at the same time without sinking that hip to the side. Plie, fond you, front. Plie, carry it front. Plie, carry it side. Good, two more. Plie, bend both knees evenly, so not one more than the other, last one. And plie, finish, shake it out, nice. Let's do the opposite side. So opposite leg, hand comes to the hip. Again, whatever hip is facing that wall, don't let it sink. We're gonna lift it up, hold your core in. We do plie, fondue, carry it front. Plie, carry it front, again. Same thing with the leg that's working, the leg that's lifting, don't let the hip pop up. Again, plie, up, breathe here, plie, good, four more, three, breathe, two, and one, and finish it, shake it out, nice. All right, so we're gonna come down to the floor now. So if you have a yoga mat, you can use it, but you don't need one, all right? So come down to the floor. I'm gonna just gently push my chair over to the side. I'm gonna roll mine out. Grab a drink of water if you want it. And if not, we're A-OK. -okay. Bring your lightweight or water bottle near you so you don't have to fish for it later. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna meet on our bottoms. I'm gonna turn to the side. So we're gonna lift our spine so it's nice and tall and take your hands under your knees. If you're, you've been in yoga class before, you're familiar with boat pose. That's what we're coming into. So we're lifting the chest. Spine is long. Lift both legs up and squeeze the knees into the chest. Option to stay here, option to let go, option to straighten the legs wherever you'd like to be. I'm gonna move a little bit away from my wall. Breathe here for four, three, two, one, and then bend your knees, hug it in tight, draw your head into your knees. And then again, inhale, lift, rise up. Hold for four, three, two, one, and hug it in strong. Again, inhale, lift up. And hug it in strong, last one. Inhale, lift up. 
and hug it in strong. Good. So keeping the same motion of inhale and then hugging it in round, we're going to do the same thing on the floor. So scooch down just a little. Our feet, let's get them nice and aligned first. So take them straight up to the sky. Turn your legs out first position. So toes are opening to the side. And then we're going to slightly sink the legs down towards the ground just a little bit. Don't take them too far. Now peel your head and shoulders off the mat. Good, we're gonna take our arms out to the side and then hug your knees in. Shoulders and head stay off of the mat. Press it out, flex the feet first position and then hug it in. Again, flex first position, open those arms, hug it in. Again, press first and hug it in. Really make sure you're flexing through your feet to engage the legs, press. Open the arms, hug the knees in. Again, press and hug it in. And press and hug it in. Last one, press and hug it in. Good. This time you can release your head and just shake your legs out. Good. From here, I want you to roll over to one side. Go back just a little so you can see me. So from here, Bottom arm is gonna be right underneath your shoulders. Do not lay down or do this with your shoulder. I want you to press out of it so you're sitting up nice and tall. Legs are directly to your side. Gaze down, make sure they're not forward of your body or back. They're straight in line. Hug your belly button in, take your other hand in front of you. Good. From here, we're gonna lift both legs off of the mat and they're only gonna come off just a few inches. Squeeze your ankles together and lift them off and tap them down. Lift them up, tap them down, up and down. And again, they're only gonna come off a few inches because we don't have anywhere to go because that bottom leg is touching the ground. But we're working our obliques here on the side. Lift and down, lift and down. Keep breathing for four, three, two, one, good from here, turn your top leg out. We're gonna passe, draw the foot up to the knee. Devlape or unfold the leg, straighten it, straighten it, and then lengthen it like someone's pulling it, squeezing it, bringing the heels together again. Passe, devlape, take it down. Good, don't sink in that shoulder, passe. Devlape, take it down. Good, and imagine someone is pulling that leg, it's nice and long. Again, passe, devlape. And down. Once more. Passe. Double pay. And down. Again, lift. Lift it as high as you can go. Breathe here. Really squeeze the legs and try to get them straight. Last one. Good. From here, roll to your back. Whatever leg you just used, we're going to use that same leg. So that leg is going to go straight up to the sky. I want you to bend the opposite leg in and then just yourself on your mat so your spine is nice and long. Your belly button is really hugging into the floor so there's no space between you and the mat. You are absolutely not arching. Take your hands, palms are straight down by your hip. Good. Slightly tap the foot on the ground and then batma up. Down, batma up down, batma up. So big sweeping movement of the leg. You're kicking it as high as it will go, but do not let your shoulders or hips come off of the mat. Take it up, down, up, down, batma up. Good, breathing here, engage your core, feel your spine press against the mat. Again, five, four, three, two, one and hold it. I want you to grab on either side of your shin or behind the thigh. Just don't grab on the back of the knee. Feel your hips press into the mat. Flex your foot and point. Flex and point. Rolling through your feet. Flex and point. Hips remain on the mat and point. Stretch it out. Flex and point. Last one. Flex and point. Release. Whew, if your legs are shaking like mine, that's okay. You're gonna come up, you're gonna switch sets. So, 
Elbow right under the shoulder. Make sure we're nice and aligned. That front hand comes right in front of the body. Okay? Don't let the legs come forward. Squeeze your ankles together. Pull them both up. Hover them off of the mat and then down. Lift them up and down. Up and down. Remember, this is only going to be a little. Try to squeeze those ankles together. Whew. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Then top leg, passes. Devlape, stretch it straight, lengthen it away from the body as you pull it down. Devlape, and lengthen. Again, devlape, and lengthen. Again, devlape. Really stretch it long as it comes down. Stretch it long. Again, keep breathing here, spine is long. Don't sink into that arm that you're leaning on. Again, devlape. Breathe here. Two, last one, and one. Roll to your back, that same leg you're gonna use. Hands are pressing flat. Batma, take it up and down. Batma, and down. Good, and again, spine is pressing against the floor. Press it up and up. Try to keep your opposite foot flat on the floor so the knee is pointing up. Try to keep hips and shoulders on the ground. Batma up. Breathe here. Lengthen it as it goes down so you're not just flopping it up. And then I want you to hold it. Grab behind the thigh or grab onto the shin. Flex the foot. Root your hips into your mat so you're really feeling that hamstring stretch. And then roll through your foot. Point it. Flex. Roll through the foot. Flex and roll, and if you're holding on to your shin or your calf, you'll feel yourself ripple through those movements as your muscle contracts and releases. Flex, and point, again, flex, and point, last one, flex, and point, and release the leg. Shake it out, good. Roll all the way over to one side. We're gonna come into child's pose. So knees are gonna be wide, big toes are gonna touch. Sit your hips to your heels. Stretch the arms out in front of you. Long release the head. Inhale. Exhale, breathe. Again, inhale. Exhale, feel your ribs expand. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna tuck your toes. You're gonna lift your hips, downward facing dog. Hips are lifting up towards the sky. Heels are rooting down. Feet are hips width apart. Spread the fingers wide, keep lifting them. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, walk your feet to your hands. And then we'll just slowly roll up from here. Great, I'm gonna turn and face you. So we're gonna do some half sun salutations. They're really great for undulating through your spine and opening the backs of your legs, but we're not gonna go down to the floor. So if you're familiar, it'll be a half sun salutation. You'll bring your feet together, roll your shoulders back, spread the palms wide, lift up tall for Tadasana Mountain Pose. And then you're gonna inhale, sweep your arms to the side or out in front of you, inhale, and then exhale your hands together at heart center. And as you do, hinge forward. Keep your spine long and then release your hands on either side of your feet. Draw your forehead into your knees. And then inhale, half lift, flat back. You're gonna sweep your fingers up your shins. So we're like in a tabletop position. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Shoulders root back and your back is flat. You're pulling your chest forward. Belly button and ribs are hugging into your spine. And then exhale, forward fold. Allow your head to curl in towards the knees. And then inhale, sweep the arms up tall. Hands come through heart center. Tadasana mountain pose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, release over your legs, and then inhale, sweep it straight back up. 
Exhale through heart center, stand tall. And mind you, just like we did earlier, tailbone is down. Inhale up. Exhale through heart center. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands come through heart center and release once more. Inhale. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands come through heart center. Stand tall, last one. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands come through heart center. Stand tall. Great. This time we're going to take it all the way down to the mat. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Then bend your knees. Step your feet back till we get to plank pose. Top of a push-up. And you're pressing your heels back. Drop the hips slightly. Gaze forward past your fingertips. Inhale for one. Exhale, hold it. Breathe. Inhale for two. Exhale, hold it, breathe, inhale for three. Exhale, breathe, inhale for four. Exhale, breathe, last one, inhale. And exhale, slowly release the knees. Take it back to child's pose, sink your hips back. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale, good, slowly walk your hands in. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do a variation on plank pose. So you can lower your knees down to the mat in table, just like this, if that better serves you. Otherwise, we're gonna come back to plank and we're gonna do little hip dips. So your hip is gonna dip down to one side, back to center, opposite hip, back to center. So it'll look like this, plank pose. Woo, gotta get away from the wall, we'll dip and up. Dip and up, dip and up, dip and up. All right, so get ready, here we go. I'm gonna slightly angle so I don't whack my wall again. Really spread your fingers wide, roll the shoulders back. Here we go, plank pose and dip the hip and up, dip and up. Keep squeezing your center and you dip as fast or as slow as you want for four, three, Two, one, then bend the knees, sit the hips back, child's pose. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, breathe. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, breathe, slowly walk the hands in. Come back to table, knees are underneath the hips, hands are under the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Again, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, and then step your right foot back long. Spin your right heel on the mat or the floor and sweep the right arm up high so we're in modified side plank. And just as much as the hips are lifted here, you're gonna stay here, or you're gonna step your left foot back, right behind the right, and flex through your feet, full side plank. Hold it here, inhale for one, and inhale for two, and three, and four, release that hand, release the knees. Step your left foot back, spin the left heel, inhale, left arm up high. Option to stay here, option to step that foot behind the other one. Flex through the feet, lift the hips. Inhale for one. Inhale for two. Inhale for three, and what the hey, let's inhale for one more. Inhale, exhale, slowly release, bend the knees, sit the hips back, child's pose. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, slowly walk your hands in. We're gonna come to a seated position on the ground. Once more. Great. So again, feet are gonna be flat. Knees are gonna be facing up, all right? 
scoot your bottom so it's as close to your heels as you can go, and then lower all the way down to your spine. Great. We're gonna take our arms and reach them as if we're gonna touch our feet. But we can't quite because our arms aren't long enough. Peel your spine, your shoulders and head off of the floor, and then look right between your knees. And I want you to feel your low to mid back really press down, press down. And then pump the arms up and down, up and down. Keep breathing here. Look right between those knees. Keep the shoulders and head off the mat. Pump. Inhale, pump. Again, breathe. Good, and then pause your arms, and then lift, pulse here. As if you're gonna touch your feet, pulse, pulse. Good, breathe here, and we won't be here for long, so can we breathe through it? Again, inhale. For four, three, two, one. Good, and then pull, roll all the way up until we sit up tall. Good, try not to grab onto anything, but if you need to, you can pull on the backs of your thighs. So we're lifting up, and then we're gonna pull the belly button back. So it's gonna kinda look like we're doing a bad crunch, but we're really rolling down with control, tucking the chin. So we want this alignment for now. Then tuck the chin into the chest and press to pull up. This is gonna go slow with control, and then tuck. Pull it back, slow, all the way down, and then tuck the chin, lift it up, go slow, so we're using our muscles and not our momentum. Again, go down. And tuck the chin, roll up, slow, muscles, not momentum here. Again, down. Again, lift it up. One more, take it down. And last one, take it up. And then stay up, take your hands behind your hips. Fingertips are either gonna turn out, but I prefer for this one to turn them in. Spread your feet hips width apart. We're gonna inhale, peel the hips off of the mat for reverse table, just like in yoga. Good, and really lengthen your spine so you're gazing down in between the knees. Good, and then slightly bend the elbows, slightly. Elbows are gonna point straight behind you, so don't let them go out to the side. And then without moving your hips, can we just pulse the elbows? We're not straightening the elbows here. I find that to be a little hard on our joints, so we're just pulsing. Yes, and use your arms, not your hips. Your hips just follow. For a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly release. Hug your knees into your chest, breathe here. Lovely, all right, take your feet flat on the ground. We're gonna take, let's start with the left leg so I don't face away from you. Left leg is gonna flex, take it straight up to the sky. Take your arms out to the side in a letter T. Palms are gonna face up. Cross your right hand to the outside of the left leg. And then remember, the top leg is still flexing. And then I want you to slowly lower that leg down to the right, both knees and legs are gonna fall to the right. Now gaze over your left shoulder and keep that one hand on the leg. So we're twisting, but keep flexing through your top leg. So we're engaging the leg, inhale. Exhale, breathe, take another deep breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly rise all the way up. So it's a little bit different than a twist we normally take in yoga. We're gonna inhale, flex through the right foot. Arms to a letter T. Left hand comes to the outside of that right leg and then allow both legs to fall to the left. Keep flexing through the foot. Gaze over your right shoulder. 
It's a big twist here. So breathe, inhale. And the leg can stay off of the mat, or if you can allow it to fall all the way down to the floor, definitely do so. It's gonna be a bigger twist. So can we breathe here? Take one more deep breath, inhale. And exhale, slowly root the hips back to center, release the leg, shake it out, great. All right, this time flip the palm straight up to the sky. Open the knees to the side like we're doing butterfly or bound angle, reclined pose. So we're coming into reclined bound angle. Spread your spine long. I want you to close your eyes here. So really release them. And just allow your hips to open with gravity's assistance. There's no arch in the back, so can you feel the spine press against the floor as if it's a magnet? And can you start to slow down your breath, letting it return back to your normal pace? Allowing your face to soften so we're not holding on to any tension. We're just soaking in all of the hard work we did. Inhale. Exhale, slowly draw the knees together. Right, and we're gonna do one more stretch here before Shavasana. So flex your right foot. Cross the left foot over the shin or over the thigh. Then take your hands, reach through that hole that you've created, grab onto the back of the leg, and then allow your head to root down to the mat. So recline figure four stretch. Breathing here. Make sure you're pulling on the back of your leg and not your kneecap. So the back of the thigh, the hamstring, or your calf here. Shoulders and hips are on the mat. Inhale, pull a little closer. Exhale, one more inhale. And then exhale, bend that top leg. This time, see if you can reach for your shin. And if you can't, just stay where it's at. And then hug it in, pull it in strong for a deeper stretch. Inhale, exhale, take one more inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Send your left leg straight up. Cross the right over the shin or over the thigh. Reach through the legs. Pull on the back of the hamstring or the calf, just not on the kneecap. And pull. Inhale. Exhale, breathe. Take another deep breath. Inhale. And then exhale, option to bend the top leg, grab onto the shin, and then hug it in. See if your shoulders can root back down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, take one more. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Send both legs out in front of you for the best pose ever. Shavasana rest pose. And open your palms up to the sky. Close your eyes here. And soak in all of the hard work you did for the last hour, and I will call you back in a few moments.
slowly start to deepen your breath here. And wiggle your fingers and your toes and with your eyes closed, roll over to one side. And then slowly on your next inhale, with your eyes closed, come to a seated position on your mat. And we'll press our hands together at heart center. Slowly bow your head into your hands and take a moment to thank yourself for being here, for making time for what you need. and for sharing your practice with everyone here tonight, near or far. Namaste.